This is Michael Wolf from YeeBoWomen.com. Um, I'm going to talk about how can we um, generate some random numbers and then have those random numbers to add to a fixed value. Now, for example, what I mean is um, if I have uh, eight numbers, random numbers, but I have to have those eight numbers add up to equal to 100. Then how can we write a program to find out like some random eight numbers? Okay. Now, actually, I, I when I do it for fun, I have a little uh, web program in here. Now, let me explain it into detail what it is, and then I can run it, and then I, um, we can discuss uh, what is the meaning behind each step. I write up a function. Now, I assume you know what is a function in here. Ransom is um, the function name. A is an array output. The max is like, as I said earlier, I want to add up to be 100. So the max, I will put 100 into here. Total number is like how many numbers I want. Like I want eight numbers. Then I will put x number in here. In here, I put the fig is equal to zero, and while fig is equal to zero, I do the following step. I will explain it of this in a second, but I'm going to explain line number four first. B is equal to one, the max times when one total number uh, minus one. What that means is, if I have eight numbers, I want to generate eight random numbers between the max and uh, and zero. Well, we can do something like something like this. But number one, they are not going to add up equal to a hundred. Number two, they are not going to um they are not they are not going to be integer. So first thing is. Let's change it, change it to be integer. Okay, but you can see like there is like 39, 36, 19, 29. Well, pretty much they are not going to be up to be an integer. So one way to do it is we solve it first. Now, um, we call a is equal to well. Let's clear them all. Okay, we are going to call cc is equal to this. Okay, so we save it in cc. Now if we solve cc, we can have this number. Now you see like there is 91 in here, and then like, there are 47. So add up definitely would be larger than 100. But how can we do something like this? We can make a little cc so the new cc will put a zero in the beginning a cc in the middle and a hundred at the end now but it just create two more numbers how this help right solve cc we are going to CC is equal to soft CC, okay? This is our new CC, okay? We are going to find the difference of CC. Now, why do I find the difference of CC? Let's think about that. Let's think about how, let's think about again. Now, how DIFF work? It's trying to subtract the second value to the first value, third value to the second value, okay? So, this 3 in here is basically is 3 minus 0. 13, this 10 in here is 13 minus 3. It's 10, okay? But when, after we solve it and subtract it one by one, okay? Subtract this one by this one. Like, this is B minus A, C minus B. Like, you think about just like using a symbol. B minus A. Now, this is not a MATLAB code in here, okay? 
post C minus B. Okay, so B minus A in here, C minus B in here. What S is going to do is like that would equal to what? That would be equal to C minus A. Because this B in here is going to be cancelled. Now, if you keep repeating this sequence, at the end you will get 100 minus 0. And then your sum will be equal to 100. Okay. Now, so all this in here is actually there is 9 numbers in here. Okay. We want only 8 numbers, right? So how can we do that? That means like when we when we in the meta code, we have want to have like one it up is the total number minus one when we create a random function. Before we find the difference, we want to have the total number eight minus one instead of put eight in here. So if we go back originally we have this line. We should instead of one, we should do a seven. Okay. After that, we solve it, and then we did. We have this, okay. So we update the new CC and then put zero to a hundred to the end, okay. And then we solve the difference of the CC as this. Then we have eight numbers in here. Now, then the next thing is, hey, you may ask. What if I, when I subtract it, I have two six instead of one six. I don't want to pick the same number again and again. Yeah, that could happen, right? Like, you think about like, uh, one of your number is 92. I don't want to pick like uh, seven, one, and one, two after that. Because like, if you assume every single, every single number is one ball, you want to pick the ball one times. You don't want to pick it several times, right? That's why we have this line in here. This line. Now, what it is is, you see, in here, we have already found out what is those X lumber, those eight lumber to be. Okay, this A is represented eight lumber. But how can, why, why do we need to do this step and do the while loop? Because in case, the difference between A now, I assume if there is no, uh, no same number in the array, okay, then we don't have to do this. No same number in the array. That means the difference between the numbers, a little difference. Like, okay, think about a little difference. It's not something in here. It's not something like when you're trying to search for the number. It's like after you set up the array, the the result array you have an array and then you want to check whether there is any number are the same then you can do the difference again the difference represents that if there is any number is the same in there then the difference should be equal to zero okay you find whether there is any difference is equal to zero if it is empty matrix if there is nothing in there then that means it is good when it is good, then you can stop the while loop. You don't have to search it again. So let's do a test. We are going to create an array, a C array, an empty array. Okay, we are going to want it um, a thousand times, and then I'm going to add the result every time, like use the random uh, when sum function to create eight numbers and add, add it to the array C okay now so the length of the array C would become 8000 now what I want to do is I want to do a histogram histogram with 100 pins. 